Hi, my name is Angie Shen, Senior Beach Development Coach with the OVA. Today what we're going to talk about is the biggest difference between beach and indoor. Today what we're going to work on is um, recognize the differences between beach and indoor. So what I'd like you to do, the way we'll set this up is if you guys can go one team behind the other, I'll serve you some balls and I just want you to do three contact to attack. Okay, go for it. Nico, yep. Yep. Laura, yep. Laura, yep. Nico. Okay, great. Can you guys shag up some balls and then come on in? Okay, so we had the athletes out there and right away what they did is they started to pass wide to two and a half where a setter would be and then wide out to the outside where an outside hitter would be. What we want to do on the beach is actually pass straight, set straight. So we'll get them back out there and demo it and then I'll show you why or we'll talk about what the advantages of that are. So great job on that. This time what we're gonna do is you're gonna go back out there, but this time I want you to pass straight, set straight. When you were out there just now, I don't know if you noticed, but you guys were passing wide to where a setter would have been, and then all the way to the outside where an outside hitter would have been. You're on the beach right now, so you wanna pass straight so the setter comes to you, and the setter will just set straight up, and then the hitter just comes straight forward. Okay, so go out there and let's try that. Okay, pass straight, set straight, here we go. Straight, come to, straight up and down, and go. Laura again, yep. Go, go, go with, yep. Good, excellent. Go. Excellent, pass straight, pass straight. Good, Thomas, come to, straight up and down. Excellent, Laura again. Pass straight, come to. And straight up and down set. Good job. So as you can see in that last drill, um, the athletes started to pass straight and set straight. There's two advantages to doing so. When you pass straight, the setter always knows where they're gonna go in order to set the ball. When you set straight, the hitter always knows where the, hit, the set is going to be so they can hit the ball. The second advantage to this is that it creates a bit of a waterfall. So you'll see that it's not a flat trajectory of ball, but it's an up and down trajectory. In this waterfall pass, it's way easier for an athlete to predict where the ball is going to be in order to track the ball to execute their skill. Here we go. Yep. Good. Straight up and down. Up and down. Go. Straight. Up and down. Good. Up and down. Good. Excellent. Again. Go up, excellent. That's good, Thomas. Perfect, guys. Straight up, straight. Beautiful, that's better. That looks great. Gorgeous. Up. Straight, good. Straight, good. Have that ball just bouncing up and down. Good, nice, Thomas. Put it right towards the net. Okay, so let's keep doing a few more balls. One thing to remember though, if you accidentally pass wide, don't worry about it, but the thing is still go straight up. That way as a hitter yourself, you know where the set's gonna come from, okay? Or where it's gonna be, let's go. So same thing, good job passing straight, setting straight up. If you accidentally pass wide, still set straight up so the hitter can go right too, okay? Here we go. Good. Excellent. Good. Good. Beautiful. Awesome, guys. Good. In. Yep. Call straight. Good talk. Go, 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 call. Good. Good communication. 
Excellent.